everyone and welcome to our Sydney Australia vlog. We are currently on Pino Cruises ship Arcadia sailing a 60 day half world cruise all the way back to the UK. We've been on board for almost a week. Today is the most exciting day because Australia has been so high on my bucket list. Benji, my fiance, who I'm getting married to in two days, he has already been to Australia before but for me this is my very first time. Sydney has always been one of those places that I've dreamt of and today is the day and we are coming into the port this morning nice and early. It's 5am and we should be able to see the Sydney Opera House and Harbour Bridge at 5.30. We're gonna go up to one of the higher decks and see us sailing in. This is like an iconic, special moment and such an exciting way to see Sydney for the very first time. So if you're new around here, hi, my name's Brogan and we are documenting and sharing our very exciting special trip, our wedding, our honeymoon, my birthday, and we want you to come along with us. So make sure you hit subscribe. I would already be married by the time you see this. It'd be a few weeks after. We're gonna go and see Sydney. And you were really emotional. Dreams <laughs> coming through. Well, I'm coming home. <laughs> The sun is up now. We can see Sydney. It's almost 7 a.m. So we're gonna try and get off as soon as possible. So we are on the opposite side to the Sydney Opera House. I think this is the rocks. Ben will have to tell me. But it is amazing, this view. There's so much to look at. Look at all of this, everything. Oh my goodness. This is the cruise passenger terminal. But yeah. Amazing. Oh my goodness! We're in Sydney! <laughs> He's got his hat on, he's ready for the day, and look at Arcadia! Is that a fresh coat of paint? Yeah, they've pe finished painting her now, so... Oh, stunning. Looks lovely. That was so smooth. Yeah. So smooth, so easy. Because we'd been to the farm about six days ago, we had to declare that we'd been to a farm. Agrodome, yeah. And she said, the shoes clean, have you got any of it with you? No, no, have a good day. <laughs> it's, it's, so it's a good day. So, it's good day, mate. If you, if you have, don't lie, it's no. just in case. And it's so easy if you tell the truth. Yeah, so. yeah. We thought that we'd be a bit longer through immigration because of that, but no, we were good. This is so exciting. <laughs> Last time I was in Sydney specifically, it was just me and my dad. There was a gigantic cruise ship here. Oh, really? And I was like, oh, that'd be so cool pulling into Sydney on a cruise ship. Oh, bucket list complete. Yeah. I have dreamt of coming to Australia for so long. I follow so many Aussies on Instagram. I've got friends that are Australian. I have friends that have moved here from the You're UK. You're not friends with Chris Hemsworth just because you follow him <laughs> on Instagram. So Sydney Harbour is the largest natural harbour in the world and the second largest natural harbour in the world is Pool Harbour right by where we live. Watch where out. We live, yeah. Oh my Jesus Christ. Watch out, dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so Pool Harbour, right next to where we live, is the second biggest Sydney, natural harbour in the world. Yeah, behind that's really Sydney. Cool. It is already very warm. <laughs> I'm Where's shopping. your hat? Oh, I clipped it. It's on me. It's got it. It's not. It's not protecting you from down there, Baba. Oh, it's only 8 a.m. Okay. Well, I'm in Sydney. We are going to get up to highs of 38 degrees tomorrow. Yeah, that is a bit keen. I'm that's chill a bit out. too keen for us Brits. My heart is so happy, guys. This is so exciting. I have always wanted to come and now we're here. And we're doing it together. We are, and we're about to get married. <laughs> because this is the last stop before we get married, this will always right, so that, hold that memory. That's a picture. Yeah, look at that. Stunning. Oh my goodness. Wow. I feel really emotional. I actually feel really just emotional. <laughs> The great thing about being on a cruise ship with two to three thousand other guests is that there's always people take pictures of each other. Yeah. So that was nice. That's Just had a lovely I, couple. One we of met. the guys I play football with. Ah, uh, yeah. And um, actually, that was one of the ladies I did a little afternoon tea with a few days ago. Shared it on Instagram. But you can see here, this is my little dress. I'm wearing my YB to B sash, my team bride slippers, and I've got a little veil and bow in my hair. Turn right around the other way. That's it. Lovely. Today is my mini celebration 
Hindu afternoon tea. Cruise Hindu. With some friends that I've only just met, so <laughs> I'm very excited that they're doing something for me. I'm very grateful. Now I feel like we're really gonna, nearly there. We're going to take some champagne and some bickies that we've got, haven't we? Yeah. yeah. But yeah, it's worth it. <laughs> they threw me a little like mini celebration, yeah. didn't they? It was so sweet. Around there, that's McQuarrie's chair. Okay. So you can see the and the. Oh wow! And, and this is the Bot botanical gardens here. Yeah. I'm so glad we came here first because it's absolutely dead quiet. Look at this. We've got the whole place to ourselves. Tonight we booked a really lovely steak restaurant, which our friends recommended to us. They were here last month and they loved it and said that we would enjoy it too. So that's what we're going to do tonight. But for now, the plan is to carry on walking around here because I'm just loving it, taking a ton of pictures. And then we're going to Bondi Beach, where we're going to Icebergs, which is the swimming pool that's right on the water. So we want to go for a swim and then start our day like that. Have a little mooch around Bondi. Yeah, mooch around Bondi, go in the shops. Like, like rip curl and, and uh, surfy shops. Surf shop. I can, Roxy. As as I say, I can, everything just left my brain. Yeah. So Arcadia's there, the Harbour Bridge is there, and the Opera House is there. Absolutely incredible so beautiful and so perfect starting the day here we have encountered a little bit of a hiccup with our plan here because we didn't realize that icebergs the pool we want to go and swim in is closed today we do have a huge beach obviously we have arrived in bondi we're gonna go for a swim in the sea because we can't go in the pool <laughs> This is what it's like when you're traveling places though. You just gotta adapt. You make a plan and roll. then you have a second plan. Yeah, so roll with it. Plan doesn't plan. <laughs> we're actually gonna go and find some breakfast first because we're both pretty hungry. So. Here's that place that I was talking about, the lamb rock, but it doesn't look very open. No. Oh, oh it, it is. is. Right, we stopped in that little lamb rock cafe, which is right here. I'm gonna have pancakes, I think. Here we go. I've got banana pancakes with some strawberry and maple syrup. And Benja's got the eggs benedict, even That's though we amazing. can get it on board. That's what he wanted. It does look amazing. Look at that nice thick cow. I'm not really a sweet breakfast kind of person. Oh, I but am. I didn't want a full fry up. No, I'm excited about this. So we just finished a nice breakfast at the cafe. And we started walking down and we can see people in the pool at Icebergs. It says on their website, Thursday, close for cleaning. Looks like they're having a party down here on Saturday, Bondi Beach party, it says. So they're setting up like a huge stage over there. Got loads of stuff going on behind us. The water is so blue, isn't it? So blue. It's amazing. It's also not as busy as I thought it was going to be. I no. think in all the TV shows and stuff, I see it like absolutely heaving, but it's it's not too bad. No, I, I, it's always been a lot busier when I've come down here. Eh? Yeah, it's nice. There's loads of space on the beach. Oh my goodness, this is so beautiful. Wow, what a great place. Here's the pool. That's where we want to go. This is amazing. Oh my goodness, I can't wait to go in. We are here. Are you ready to go in? Yeah. Well, I, I haven't yet. <laughs> Let's go. This is not my like best look, but Benji just braided my hair for me. Well, so okay. <laughs> I had it in a low bun and it, it just it didn't hit. No, my hat wasn't fitting on my head, so my massive head. But that was amazing, wasn't it? We just found out that they've been doing swimming. They've, this has been here since 1892. That's crazy. crazy. And it's a really popular spot and it looks really busy now. So I'm glad yeah. we came when we did. And obviously, don't listen to Google Maps and your internet because it's Thursday and it's open. So yeah. there we are. <laughs> no, I really recommend that. I do too, yeah. It was actually the friends that we are stealing their steak recommendation. They told us to come in as well. We literally copied their itinerary. But yeah, it is hud, hud, hud. So we're taking all precautions. Hat, sunnies, loads of SPF. My nose has already started reacting to the sun, which I'm not happy about, but nothing ben I can do about it. Benji suffers with a condition on his nose. When the heat hit hits it, it's just game over. Good job we have makeup for the wedding day. Yeah. We'll be alright. Bondi Beach. It's been a lovely morning. I'm ready for some shops. And some aircon. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice. Aww. It's like you say, a slightly cream, which I don't normally like. Perfect, but I think I really like it anyway. The design is really nice. Yeah. Do you like that hat? I do quite like that hat. 
It's it looks, quite a big... It looks old, doesn't it? It looks like I've had it for 10 years. <laughs> yeah, it's quite a big logo at the top. We both really like Rip Curl. They have some really nice clothes. We like these sort of surfery, nice t-shirts and like this little crop tee is cute. And this is the dress I'm wearing right now that I bought the other day. Is it this one? Oh, it's that one. This one that I'm wearing at the moment. Ben and I are obviously in the souvenir shops, constantly looking for pins and postcards and bits. We're collecting pins and we've got three in one shop, so that's a good start. Staying hydrated. He's got his new hat on, filling the bottles up. We normally fill it up on the ship, but we, we got told this morning we're not allowed to bring any liquids ashore at all. So no food packets or anything. Back to plastic bottles, unfortunately. But this is keeping them cold. We've got two Awala water bottles. We're doing our best. We're basically just walking along here, looking at all the different shops. That looks like a nice little bar. Look at the door handle. <laughs> Bondi is a very cool place. Everyone's walking around with their surfboards and peak summer here, so I'm just still getting used to it, but I love it. We discovered this brand in Disney Springs. It's called Tommy Bahama, and they have the most beautiful things. The men's is really nice too. I'm sure Benji's looking at a shirt or two. Of course you found a shirt. Yeah, nice. That's the best me shirt ever. It is a very you shirt. Is it? Yeah, really nice in there, but just crazy expensive. Tried on a really cute pair of shorts. They were $158, so pass. I don't even know if they'll sell my size in this, to be honest. Oh, lovely. These are reversible, how cool, but they also sell napkins. Napkins. And face masks. <laughs> Sunglasses holders. <laughs> the tiny. <laughs> this is Bondi Pavilion, which was our second choice. They have showers and lockers down here if you want to go to the beach. And just like that, Bondi Beach. It's definitely busier now, isn't it, Benj? It's not busier, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely amazing. Look at the sand. Wow. Love it. We jumped in an Uber and He's taken us right back near the ship. There's so much to look at. I feel a bit overwhelmed. Oh, this is a good shot from here, Benj. Maybe we should take our selfie here. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Yay. This is Six Head, where we're going for dinner later. And this is the ship. Look at this, this is amazing. That's what it looked like in 1795. Yeah. Wow. I know it's pretty iconic and such a bucket list thing for some people to climb the harbour bridge but I have absolutely no interest in that. No. I don't think I want to put a big suit on in the middle of the sunny day. You uh, show own in that but I just I prefer looking up at it than looking down. Yeah, no it's not for me, no, no thank you. We came out to the cabin and I've had a shower, proper one, because I had a shower at the icebergs, but I actually washed my hair and had a proper, you know, nice clean. And I've switched to shorts and t-shirts, full change, and I've put my trainers back on. And I've got a lighter bag now, so we've ditched our swimming stuff, haven't we, the beach yeah, towels. Yeah, basics only, really. Yeah. I'm trying to find somewhere to go and have some lunch. I think we just go outside and read some menus. Yeah? Oh, nearly left my fan. Oh, that's... That big rookie error. Big rookie. <laughs> um, sorry, is this not the most epic view we've ever had from a lift before? Yeah, it'll do. It'll do? It'll do. Look at that! Going down. <laughs> wow. Oh, what are they doing out here? Refueling. Oh. You made that sound way more exciting than it is. Oh, I, I forgot that that's actually wow. an essential part. <laughs> How lovely is this? We're walking around the rocks, or we're coming into the area of the rocks, which is a great place for food. So we thought, oh yeah, this looks like a vibe. I like it. Oh, well, they've got some nice shops. Oh, they look good sandwiches, actually. I looked online, yeah, if you want to have a little look. All these places look great as choices. It's a nice little cafe, we can sit in the shade. The menu here is quite brunchy. I don't know what it's called. Oh, it's just called Belgium Chocolate Cafe. We want to have a sandwich. So I think I'm just going to go for a chicken or maybe beef. Actually, even the tuna sounds nice. I would have any of these. Even the turkey bench, it's got avocado and lettuce and mayo. That sounds oh, nice. We're going for the beef sandwich. We're going beef and you can pick different bread as well. We have got smoothies to keep us cool and they look amazing. Do you mango? Mango, what have you got? Mixed berries. Yeah. Cheers. Mm. Oh, that's really good. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'm mm. happy with that. That is amazing. Oh my gosh, it's so thick. It's like gelato. Yeah. That actually might be one of the nicest smoothies I've ever had in my life. Mm -hmm. 
Here we go, beef pastrami sandwich and a chicken sandwich on sourdough. How nice does that look? Amazing. Apparently this is Turkish bread. I've never, I don't think I've ever had Turkish bread before. It's good. <laughs> I know that this is just a sandwich, but this might be one of the nicest sandwiches I've ever had. There's so much chicken and flavor. Oh, it's amazing. I'm absolutely loving it. Look at these old signs around this area. I love this. Lots of bars, restaurants, shops. Oh, was a Ralph Lauren. Oh, coming up. There's a Rip Curl outlet here. Oh, wow, on that sign it says that that is Sydney's oldest pub since 1828. And there's a Starbucks so we can look for our mug in here. 1885. There was a bank. Sadly, they were sold out of my We Are Here mug, but we are gonna come out tomorrow. She said they're gonna get some stock tomorrow. What a lovely area around here. They often have street performers down there. Oh yeah, what a nice place. You can totally see why people wanna live and work here and yeah. study here. This is that thing of having a city by the sea, isn't it? Yeah, really cool. I'm just trying out an umbrella in case it's better than a fan. It's a proper like, UV umbrella, isn't it? But we're on our way to the botanical gardens. Uh, so you're directing us there, aren't you? Yeah, and hopefully my directing's better than it was when we were on a bike. I'm not mad about that. It no. was just hot, hot and long and hard. Oh. Um, <coughs> <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> decided you didn't want your umbrella so now I'm umbrella boy. I'm just not sure about it if I'm being honest. I don't know if it's really helping. <laughs> we've gone from beach beautiful beach yeah. to gorgeous city mm -hmm. skyline and big buildings and shops to this right next to each other yeah that's amazing isn't it's it? really really amazing like this is stunning get you a city that can do both more than both everything it's got everything it's so beautiful here Stunning, isn't it? Worth the walk, wasn't it? Well, the gardens itself are worth the walk, yeah. but this is nice because you get both the Opera House and you get the Harbour Bridge in. Yeah, close that off for an event, and I don't want to walk all the way back to get all the way back up there. We're pretty much at the end, so. We what was the chair thing called? Mrs. McQuarrie's Point. Oh, okay. Or Mrs. We're McQuarrie's skipping chair. that, are we? Yeah. We'll Fair see enough. Day. We made a horizontal pit stop in the gardens. And when you lay down and look up, you see all the spider webs in the trees. Big spiders around. That was a around. big boy earlier, wasn't there? First big spider. Size of, size of this. Oh, <laughs> size of, about size of this. Like you see, the hand behind my hand, like about that big. Could have even been that big. Baba, in literally two days to the almost hour. I'm going to be Mr. Lever. <laughs> Again. Great. <laughs> you gain a wife. Great. <laughs> Is there any perks? <laughs> Just that. The perks are. Yeah, should we get? <laughs> no, none. Sorry. <laughs> go, go, go. Why are you getting married? Oh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> oh, God. Because I love you. Oh. There's a plane and we've just figured out that TV could be Taylor's version as she's in town. What else would TV be? Television. What? <laughs> <laughs> Is he doing? Oh no, no, he's still going. Oh, TW? Is it oh. Twifties? No, they're Is called Swifties. Uh. Well, that was a very bizarre turn of events. Ta-da! <laughs> I'm on Twitter and everyone's like, what is going on? Is everyone talking about it? Yeah, let so many videos said, what on earth is it? More! More! <laughs> He's putting an asterisk and putting right it all again. Right, I just said that we should go back and you just said... No, I'm invested now. If he does another W, I'm... No, I've given up if he does another W. <laughs> He's going again. No, it's curly now. He's going again. He's doing the... We've already had all this. That house there is um, Kirribilli House and that's the second official residence of the Australian Prime Minister. Oh. So like holiday, I assume holiday home or something. Wow, stunning. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Yeah. And this is our walk back to the ship. Not Incredible. Bad deal, is it? No. You can see why so many people jog along here. Isn't yeah. You? I didn't realise as well that there's like a bit at the front here and then it's sort of separate. Like they're separate I bits. Must say, if you asked me to draw it from memory, I wouldn't have included the separate bits. I thought it was one building. Oh, yeah. 
<laughs> it's not, it's separate I wonder if sales. It's, I wonder if it's all one concert hall or whether it's separate. Oh, that's a good idea, yeah, I don't know. Obviously not in that front little No, no. I had a friend recommend Opera Bar for a cocktail, just because the views are amazing, obviously. It's a nice spot, but we of us fancy a cocktail right now. We are in a little shop now, right by the Opera House, just having a little mooch. Love looking at everything. Loads of shops along here. We just got our postcard, and we got some chocolate we haven't seen before. So we'll show you that. It's all very lovely and much busier than this morning, isn't it? I just love these little shops. There's so many cute things. We are looking for a Christmas decoration. I feel like one of these could be cute. Benj, look, they have a little koala. Look. Oh dear. I have discovered more pins and a Christmas decoration. I also do want a kangaroo and a koala to add to our little family, but I haven't found one I like oh, yet. Little Joey. No, I'm very no, specific on what I like. We are heading back inside for the second time today. We're feeling like we want to get ready for dinner and we've done a great look around we've done a great look around we've had a great look around <laughs> i feel like we made a little schedule didn't we a, like a mini itinerary and we ticked everything we wanted yeah i agree bondi botanical gardens yeah. and the rocks we had two lovely meals so we far watch some sky writing on our list as well we yeah that yeah that was typically top of the list souvenir shopping very important always so yeah good day basically i thought you might like to see what we picked up so i have a friend that requested one of these so i got her two one for her and one for her mum and then i got us one each as well they're called a violet crumble i think they're a bit like a crunchy and then i saw m&m's bounty coconut flavor which i love m and so much so very happy about these because i love bounty and then i saw various different kit kat flavors and i thought i'd try them all so we've got birthday cake milky bar and churro so they're going to all go in the fridge because they've been in my backpack we're trying them for cultural scientific research obviously only. yeah of course i've had my third outfit change of the day we're going for a nice dinner so i've popped on this nice loose floaty play suit with some sparkly sandals i bought this from next i think yeah i really like it i have been doing a little bit of editing as you can see on the laptop and while i was working bench has been doing the washing again so because we're in port we can have the washing hanging and then we'll bring it in before we move tonight so i'm not sure if i've explained this we are docked in the harbor right now as you know like right next to circular key and the rocks at 11 p.m we have to move and we're going to be coming to shore via tender again if you watch the last vlog you know that basically means we get in the small sort of lifeboats so we have to be back on board tonight by 11 otherwise the next tender is not until eight o'clock the next morning so the first tinder is 8 a.m tomorrow so we've actually just been asked to have coffee with the captain in the morning to chat about the wedding day so that's exciting um his name is matt and we actually bumped into him in the buffet a few days ago and he said he wanted to sort of chat through the wedding day so we're very excited then we take the tender to shore and then we're gonna try and plan our day around doing a lot more shops so we want to go to the queen victoria building pop to westfields we've got a little shop list of a few things we want. Hello. I'm just saying about you doing the washing. And then when we come back this evening we can do a bit of tidying. Um, oh I need my cruise card. This lanyard is looking a little ropey. Good job I have a spare. But um, anyway that's the plan. That's where we're at. So dinner at a restaurant called Six Head recommended by our friends Charlotte and George. They ate here like I said a month ago and they loved it. They did like a special date night dinner here and they just thought it was really nice and that we'd really like it. So we trust their recommendation. So we booked there about I want to say about two weeks ago just because I wasn't sure how busy it'd be but I had no idea how close it would be. So that's helpful. We're literally within walking distance so we can go for our nice dinner and then just walk back. Oh wow this is so lovely at this time of night. Because it's still sunny but the sun's not directly on it it just feels so cool it's so much cooler it's so pretty wow good job we made a reservation it is busy so we know we want to get steak i think i might go for the ribeye the ribeye wagyu here yeah. i think i'm gonna go for a fillet but i'm not sure which one basically these are different types of farms or they're like the, the cows are raised oh, differently yes. they eat different food and it's different weights of the meat and they're obviously expensive so it's definitely a pricey menu and meal 
but we've got all our cash from Christmas and towards our wedding, haven't we, that yeah, our family gave us some Australian nice dollars. Day. How lovely. The restaurant have given us a complimentary glass of bubbles to say congratulations on getting married on Saturday. They asked if we were celebrating anything and we told them that we were on that ship. This is amazing. So lovely. We didn't want a big starter, so we are going to share some artisan bread with a Wagyu butter, which sounds amazing. Can't beat bread and butter. Can't beat it. We've had a lot of nice bread, haven't we, this trip so far? <laughs> Just to give you a little idea, it's 8 o'clock and it's still 26 degrees and tomorrow it's going up to 30 at 6 so we're just planning out our day and we've enjoyed our bread and it's starting to get dark now and it's so beautiful here here is our steak i will say it's a bit weird that it doesn't come with any sort of like veg or salad it looks amazing look at that that was easily the best piece of steak we've ever had Maybe even best piece of food we've ever had. Amazing. It was amazing. I felt a little bit guilty, like with the price, but no, nah, it was absolutely worth it. Yeah. It goes back to again the conversation we had the other day about price versus value. But also, we're not feeding a hundred guests for a wedding day. We always wanted to have a really have a hundred, special meal. I love a hundred of them like, to myself. <laughs> but the view's been amazing. The people watching. It's still so warm. Look how generous this is. They gave us the wine already. The um, champagne and now we have a little dessert to enjoy together that's really cute very thoughtful i love it the crew on board arcadia are so lovely every time we get on and off they always say have a lovely evening or hope you have so a lovely sweet. day or yeah they're so nice um and we've just been to reception because we accidentally even with all my organization with my currency pouches we accidentally had a 50 New dollar Zealand. New Zealand dollar note amongst my Aussie dollars so the reception changed it for Aussie dollars for us yeah. so yay that's good we can actually use those now mm -hmm. so yeah it's been a lovely evening I've loved it it's been so <laughs> amazing <laughs> now what a view stunning now we're gonna go to bed and we'll see you again in the morning for Sydney day two Good morning everyone, it's day two in Sydney and it's our last day before we get married tomorrow. Ooh, so many feelings, so many emotions, so much to think about, but we're gonna soak up our last day in Sydney. I'm so sad, I would happily spend weeks here, but we are expecting some intense sunshine today and some predicted rain and our main priorities is basically doing some shopping that's what we want to do so we want to go to the queen victoria building as i said yesterday we want to do westfield and there's a nice bookshop i want to go to that was a call to say the captain would like to meet us in the next 10 minutes so we're going to make our way down to that meeting it's all about the wedding but and you might be able to hear they're getting the tenders ready so i just thought i'd quickly show you so this is what it's looking like they've lowered it into the sea and they're just getting them all ready for us and then this is the view as you can see oh my gosh look this sun is so bright behind me is where we are so we're not too far this is gorgeous really nice way to wake up and see sydney in this light i guess but that sunshine is it's bright yeah no we're not gonna look at that too much it's very bright um but anyway let's rock and roll and do the day oh the tender is not the life mode it's a captain cook thing right wow well, let's go around this way babe let's go in here So now we know this is where we come then to get the tender later, right? Yeah. First stop is back at the Starbucks as the lady yesterday told us that they were getting stocked today. So we're hoping, 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 hoping we're like, oh, there's boxes. Is this stock? This looks promising. Yay, they just opened the boxes and they found the Sydney mug that we wanted. It's gorgeous. Isn't it lush? So now we have the Auckland and the Sydney you know one. this means? Need the Hong Kong one. We'll sort out when we get home. Oh, we'll sort out one in, one out. Yeah. <laughs> love it and you might have noticed that I've changed my dress and that is because I'm struggling so much in this heat Benji seems to be fine but I am melting and this dress is a different material and I think I've realized that 
those sort of like cotton dresses that I have for the UK that have got like lining, they're doubled, they're not good for me. So I've switched dresses, much cooler. Also, I love these like trains that are kind of like trams that are like, oh, well, yeah, but they look like trains, like the tube and they're right in the middle of the street. It just is nice. <laughs> it's convenient. It looks like the underground, which would be separate. Wouldn't You wouldn't have the underground like straight through the middle of the street like that. Why, your brain cannot comprehend it, can it? No, <laughs> it's nice. And I like all this. This is called the Strand Arcade. Just thought we'd walk around. Yeah, it's gorgeous. My friend told us that Butterboy cookies are amazing. So I think we'll get one to share. This white chocolate, although it's got, oh yeah, salted caramel white chocolate and macadamia cookie. Oh my God. Mm. That is incredible. Not so good. Just sea salt in it is amazing. That's really, really mm. good. I can't even taste the macadamia next to it. Yeah, that's amazing. Look at that. I don't know if you can fully appreciate it. It's like got the shine on it from the salted caramel. Again, we make all these plans and then just randomly, oh, should we have a look in there? Finds the best stuff. Yeah. Snack bag. See? I come prepared. You're good. You can stay. You can. I can. Are you going to marry me? You can sign a contract tomorrow for, for life. <laughs> life okay, so we're walking around this little area now. I just popped into Sephora just because I wanted to get a couple of last tiny things for the wedding day. And the lady was so lovely in there. I was actually looking for a, uh, I forgot a hair wrap, like hairband thing. And she had a free Fenty skin one. So she gave it to me, which was very sweet. I stumbled across Westfield, which I think was obviously in there. Or is it this whole thing? I don't know. It's nice around here. I love it. Oh, okay. I thought we were in Westfield, which I think we were. And then now we've come through to the Queen Victoria building. Ooh, this is really nice in here. I used to love this shop in London and then they got rid of it. It's called Kiki K. And they have loads of lovely things. Yeah, such gorgeous stationery and stuff. Look at this little children's shop. It's so cute. Oh, look at all the bits. <laughs> I love shops like this. I was looking for a little koala or a kangaroo, but no luck. But how adorable are these little things? Look, they're so soft too. Aha, this is the front of the building. Look how beautiful it is. So that's the way in that you should have gone, not the backwards way that we went. But we're still looking for my bookshop that I wanted to go to. Have you found it? Way. Side okay, we'll walk through here then. I can totally see why people like coming around here. There's loads of like foodie spots and bakeries through the middle and places to sit and relax. There's designer, there's skincare, there's some high street shops, then there's some, a few independents downstairs. It's definitely got something for everyone. This is our next stop. It's called, well I keep calling it Dymox, but Benji's called it, what did you call it? Dimmocks. Neither of us need or want new books, but you know, we're gonna have a look. <gasps> Oh, it's book heaven. Oh my gosh, they have a Taylor Swift area. Amazing. This is next on my list, but there's so many of the books that uh, if I start it, I know I'm gonna have to commit to all of them, aren't I? So we'll just, we'll kind of come to it soon. Don't you worry. But I just want to have a little look. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? Apparently this is new and someone said that I might like this. It's quite big though. And also what I really like in the UK, our books are not like this. They're very soft. Like they flick nice. I don't know how to explain it, but like our binds here are harder. So this is very nice to like, oh, I don't know how else to explain this, but like hold it and flick through it. Oh, I would have loved to have read Iron Flame like this rather than the hardback I had, because this is so much nicer. <laughs> Benj is about to start this. I wonder if he wants this version, um, but Fourth Wing was just amazing. On my Kindle, I've got these next. This Twisted Love series, which I'm excited about. I think I might start that next. I'm currently reading an absolutely awful book called Icebreaker, which some of you might know, but I'm hating it. Um, but I'm gonna get that finished first. But this is a lovely, lovely store. I'm just looking at all the pet things because I miss my dog very much. And I just thought this was adorable. She loves these little licky mats. And this one you can like suction to the floor and it looks like a piece of toast. That's <laughs> so cute. My stationary heart is just very happy looking at all of these different bits. I've left Benji in a chair over there somewhere. I have found my section absolutely in love with how this 
bookshop is all laid out and how everything looks wow if this was my local bookshop i'd be very happy popping in here so many loads of them have this sort of style of front cover nowadays the catch that sounds fun oh my goodness they've got a jelly cat range and it is adorable i think i need the koala and you'll know why when we get to brisbane and you'll see that in the next vlog but i feel like I need this now. But they have so many cute ones. Oh no, my pin lover heart is so happy here too. Look at this. <gasps> so many cute pins. Oh yes, I need that one. We've diverted from, you know, lots of local cuisine to the Golden we Arches. Yet, and we just want something small that we know what we're having. But so. I actually have ordered a salad, which looks quite nice. But look, They've had frozen Coke, frozen Sprite Fanta. I quite fancy a frozen Fanta. Raspberry Fanta sounds nice. Let's go raspberry. Hash browns all day. Pineapple fritters. They've got M&M's Mini McFlurry Oreo. Tim Tams. It's out of stock. Oh, that's a shame. Aww. I never thought I'd have a salad at McDonald's, but here we are. I'm actually very excited about this. Mm. I'm going to try my frozen really nice. Fanta. <laughs> you will love that. So good. good in that? Yeah, really good. Mm. That was actually surprisingly very nice. And look at the building. Absolutely, just what we needed, wasn't it? <laughs> it was just what we needed. Now we've decided we're going to go up the Sky Tower. We did the one in Auckland and we're planning on doing the one in Kuala Lumpur. I think we're going to go up this one too. we just got to find it. Their Apple store is absolutely huge. Look how many floors it's got. We're just in the Lego store and look how cute this is. I didn't even see that at first. The koala, the little animals, the birds. Is this one? That is a cockatoo. Nearly. Oh. Cookaburra. Oh, damn. Possum, yeah. Possums are okay in Australia. But they're a problem in New Zealand. Yeah, we learnt that. A little bat. Oh, look, no, there's a baby on the back. Oh, wow, that's really nice. How oh, pretty. We're back in Westfield, but we're not doing many more shops. We're going to try and find the Sky Tower. Right, here we go. It was $38 each. Oh, it was £40 for us both, so £20 each. Oh, wow. So it's the Empire State Building. Yeah, we've done that. Eiffel Tower. Done. We've done the Auckland one now. This is the Sydney Tower. This little tiny one here. Empire State. Oh, Burj Khalifa. There we go. We've done yeah, that one. It took six years to build it. Huh. 26 million Wow. Oh my goodness, there's Arcadia. That's the first thing Benji spots. <laughs> the ship. Oh, look, look, we're, we're above a plane and just below a helicopter. Wow. Oh, what a nice little spot we're in yeah, over there. It's definitely a lot higher up than the Auckland one, isn't it? Do you think? Yeah, I think so. Oh wow, the view's gorgeous. You can just about see the Opera House there and the bridge there. But in terms of being able to see a full city like this, I do really love a tower. So do I. We should maybe make it a mission to do them all. Well, I've now repeated to that I've already done. <laughs> Actually, I keep on thinking about the bridge. Is in yeah. Married at First Sight Australia when they go over the bridge to go to the like the sit down meet. The meal, meal yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I keep thinking about that movie we saw the other day yeah. with um, Sydney Sweeney. Yeah. <laughs> finished up the sky tower. It was nice up there as you saw. We, we saw where Taylor Swift was playing tonight. Yeah, Olympic then, Park. I've been there, that's where the um, Sydney Easter show is. Oh. If we come to Easter again, oh, we come to Easter again. Come to Sydney again, we'll definitely come at Easter time because that shows up. I've seen that, it looked good. Oh wow, this is so beautiful. We just saw this from the sky tower. It's a lovely the, fountain. The guy from the sheep shearing show the other day. <laughs> With his sheep. I love these birds. They're so cool. They're fun, aren't they? <laughs> Benji explained why Burger King is Hungry Jack's, all to do with the licensing. They offered him millions and he went, nah, you're alright. So because of that, there's Hungry Jack's over here. I had no idea. Yeah. Hungry Jack's? Right, it's, they even, it's the Whopper, but it's at Hungry Jack's. I had no idea. We are on our way back to the Sydney Opera House to get back on our tender. Have we done that a gift oh, shop? I don't think we have. We, we have need we? to make sure we've done every gift shop. <laughs> It is about five o'clock and our last tender is at six. We were never gonna try and get the last because that's too risky no. for us. We've walked up and down this bit so many times over the yeah. last few days. But yeah, now it's time to one leave. One last look at the bridge and one last look at the opera house. Yeah. The weather's been amazing for us as well. Yeah. So nice. It's been raining all week so we got really lucky. And I think it's gonna thunderstorm tonight, so. Thank you, Sydney. 
they're giving us some sunshine but yeah it's been wonderful obviously i've loved sydney so much about the city i love there's so much i still want to do i really want to do the zoo i'd like to do manly yeah. there's a ferry tour where we just hop off and hop off and on and off yeah <laughs> get there in the yeah. end yeah blue mountains yeah there's loads i still would like to do so of course we'll be back in the future but i'm very excited about brizzy next i'd love to could do uh, like an nrl game with you rugby league with you that, that'd be good okay yeah. i think you'd like it okay i think we'll end the vlog here it's been wonderful like i said i've really loved sydney and hopefully you'll enjoy the next vlogs i don't know what order i've put this in so maybe you've already seen us get married but obviously this is the day before and i hope you're enjoying the vlog so far if you haven't already make sure you hit subscribe thank you so much for watching and yeah goodbye from us and sydney see you soon bye